So what is it we looking at? Camphor. C A M P H O R. I'm sorry, spell it again. C H A M P H O R. Yeah, I understand yeah. this was used. And what, your, what your grandma used to use back in the old days, they used to make a. They used to make some stuff that used to give it to you by the spoon for when you cough and stuff and okay. get sick. Camphor. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we got these back home. So it's quite a few um, purposes. Yeah. And then you, you, could, you could take the bark. And um, chop up the bark and boil the bark and right. distill it. And the residue from it you mm -hmm. collect. Mm -hmm. And you can use that as a, it, it stops like, an like, as an ointment or topical or, ointment. Or, or what you call it? Like, uh, and at the end of the year, they, uh, they use it for spiritual purpose, like mm -hmm. cleansing and things like that. And antiseptic, that's what they exactly. made. They yep. made an antiseptic out of it. So you, got, so you got... You know, if, if you're educated on what you have on the land and the oh, purpose of all the forest was on the land, you, you, can, you, you can live off the land. Like, this is a camphor tree. And then you come with people who have different knowledge, like my brother right here. He knows about it, how his grandmother taught him different things. He was raised on the farm. So huh? he was really? raised on the farm. See? Mm -hmm. We spread that knowledge. I did a little YouTube research on it. I learned something about it. He had a little knowledge. He born with it. We bring it all together. We got pecan trees here. We got oaks. We got Carolina Grills. I thought she wanted them. I don't know. We, let's go. Look. I don't know about that. So but we, we got gonna go a, lot, a little we further. Got a lot of a lot of bamboo. Mm -hmm. we a, have lot a lot of bamboo. Uh, we have oaks. We have yeah. willows. Palmetto. Uh, palmettos. That, that's a big camp tree right there. Uh, can you see yeah. right there? Yeah. That's a huge one right there. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of wildlife. Like, let's look at these birds just flying around us. Woodpecker over there. We have there. woodpecker over there. We, we saw a bald eagle. Being yeah, chased by, by by what kind of bird? A chase term. A term. Yeah, by a term. Yeah, a term. A bald eagle being chased by one term. Uh -huh. Real talk. <laughs> we amazed today. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot of oak in this area that has been taken over by a lot of vines. Yeah. And you can see, if you want to pan this direction, you'll see oh, that mm -hmm. how all those vines are going up those trees. I'm going to walk over there. I'm going to pull. So the simple thing we can do is to eradicate the flower. We cut it. That's what we do. Cut it and that'll kill it. It'll die now. So you see, the little effort the little dude do with a little machete, it's gonna clear this whole thing up. This part is oak right here. Doing that throughout the whole forest right now. We could take a walk and you can pan and see how the forest is being strangled by these vines. These great oaks are being strangled, but we're giving them life with a little love. Here we, we go. different types of holly. I can't think of the name of it, but they use this for a shrub too. Yeah. And it ain't gonna be like that, cause once you start doing maintenance on them, trimming it, spread out and get thick. Yeah. It's decorative. Yeah, decorative. They get thick. Yeah. People use that around their yard. Sometimes they shape it like Christmas trees. They shape it in, you know, all kinds so of So it's, it's, it's quite a few natural resources in this area. Oh, definitely. We could, yeah. be, we could just cut this down low, and then once it grows back out, we could keep mm -hmm. it low, and it'll be a shrub, a decorative shrub around this beautiful oak right. once we remove all the vines. So it's not a lot we need to do to bring in here. We just take what we got and ma and take care of and manicure it the way it needs like, to be. See how that tree was cut off and sprouting out? See, it come out fuller when you do that. You, you do maintenance on it. You got, that's what they call pruning. And then look, let me show you something. What we could do, make new sprouts. Like this tree coming off. You take it off, put that in water like in, in grandma's kitchen, mm -hmm. and the root can start growing, and then we can start a new tree off. Well, they got enough coming up, you don't even have to worry about it. That's honey sucker. So we got another vine here. Honey sucker. I pulled the flowers off when I was a kid and pulled a little tube, a little stem out of it and sucked a little nectar. The sweet out of the flower. Sweet out of the flower, yeah. Honey suckle, right? Yeah, honey suckle. I did put our berries too, right? Yeah. Are the berries edible? Can you eat the berries? No. We put our berries. The honey sucker vine. Yeah. You can use this for rope, for tying things up and material and everything like that too. How about to see the thing. All right, so on the land, living off the land, we got cedar out here, right? Cedar like this. And so I went and made some tools out of it. Like my spoon, got a little fork, you got a little spatula, you know? Mm -hmm. A little stirrer. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I got, where my knife at? And my little butter knife, you know? 
You got everything you need. Even like the bamboo, you know, that was my little chopstick right here. I got found by the chopstick, you know. So, all that off this. Good old cedar, you know. You got everything you need. Go get you everything you need. Take the time, put it to work. So we got Carolina willow trees out here, you know, like this. And this one that's cut down. And they got a poem called Braided Willow. But willow, one thing which you can do, you know, you can make a lot of craft work out of it. You can really do. I, I could quickly make a type of bracelet, a type of loop out of this. It'd be real strong with itself, you know. With this circle, you can make all kinds of things. Real strong. You can braid it. You can make all kinds of craft with this thing. Everything you need off the land, you know. That's all. But it's just so many things out here. Yep, and I then mean, you can pan over here. You like this bamboo you see right here. You can create all kind of craft with the bamboo. And then if you pan over a little bit more, you can see this whole bed of palm over there. You can do a lot of craft work with that. So we could sit here and teach these skills to everyone to learn how to make things to live off the land. So I understand all of this area is our bamboo trees. Yep, we can walk out. This is bamboo. Bamboo walkway right here, I love it. Mm -hmm. Bamboo walkway. They got different